In this video, we will demonstrate how the true larve Galeria melanella model can be used to assess the immunomodulatory activity of compounds. It's important to know whether or not new drugs have immunomodulatory activity, whether they can dampen or activate the immune system. And using the Galeria melanella model, we can challenge the larvae with a pathogen and we can dose them with a potential immunomodulatory compound and we can see whether there's a shift in LD50. It's important to have carried out the basic injection training before carrying out this protocol. TrueLove can be adopted as a screening tool for drug discovery or repurposing by investigating the impacts of drugs on the survival of model pathogens and determining if they give the expected shift in survival. For example, does an immunosuppressive drug make the larvae more susceptible to infection? When working with any drug or compound, you first need to check if the drug and solvent used is toxic to the larvae or your pathogen. For more information, please refer to our video on assessing acute toxicity. Once you have decided on the doses of immunomodulator you are going to test, based on your toxicity screen, you are now ready to inject your larvae following the basic injection technique that we have learned previously. If you're doing a co-injection, you would first dose with your drug and then dose with your pathogen of choice. You would need to consider your controls. As this is a co-injection, all controls will require a double injection too. For example, you would inject your immunomodulator and PBS for your non-infected control. A second control would be immunomodulator and organism, and you will also need a control for your pathogen and PBS. In this experiment, larvae were co-injected with dexamethasone 21 phosphate disodium and Acinetobacter baumannii. The larvae were dosed with 200 micrograms of dexamethasone and allowed to rest for 10 minutes before injection with Acinetobacter baumannii. The larvae were then placed at 37 degrees and observed over a 72 hour time course. As can be seen, larvae dosed with dexamethasone have a lower survival rate than those that were challenged with Acinetobacter baumannii alone, indicating that dexamethasone is immunosuppressive in Galeria melanella.